Hello everybody, Cutter AK is here and today we will be making a jazz piano training program for real. This program will work with a MIDI keyboard or any synthesizer slash digital piano that has a MIDI output. This program like a helper tool to learn chords, scales and modes, memorize them, build them and play fast on piano, synthesizer or anything else with keys and MIDI output. So, let's start. First, let's list all the expectations and requirements for the program. Obviously, the program should be able to read MIDI input, unless we want to remove the piano word from the program's name. Then we should be able to display and see preset keys. Next, we should learn something, especially chords, scales and modes. Give me more drills. So we will need some logic in place that will check if we are doing the right stuff. Ok, next we need to display chords and scales in a text and music notation format. Play audio to test our hearing abilities and train our brain to convert sound waves into actual chords for a given scale as an example. Then read MIDI input and color preset keys, red for wrong and green for all good. Few words on Python libraries that will be used in the project. Python RT MIDI, a library for real-time MIDI input and output. Mido, a high-level library for MIDI messaging that will be working with RT MIDI to get us what we need. Pygame will be used to play audio files and some extra stuff that will be added later. TK Inter, TK Interface is a UI toolkit that will be used. Window, widgets, buttons, it all comes with this module. So quick note on RT MIDI library, as you can see there are a lot of libraries that work with RT MIDI, but the one particular one that we need is Python RT MIDI. So please note that. Okay, so what is MIDI anyway? Let's check Wikipedia. It is a musical instrument digital interface, a technical standard that describes a communication protocol that's the main thing from this paragraph we need for now. So communication, let's check the messaging. For this program we care only about note on and note off messages that will represent key events on our MIDI keyboard. So communication, that means there should be a connection, some channel, you know, in our case it is a physical connection between a MIDI keyboard and a computer. Nowadays that's carried over a generic USB connection. Let's run MIDI example and read MIDI input and don't forget to provide a MIDI port name. In my case it is Impulse 2. I'm using Novation Impulse as my MIDI keyboard. You can see the MIDI events are coming through in real time. Yay! So good job! Good for us! What about those fancy chords and scales images used within the program? There is a cool music rendering library, where via you can create XML files with needed music notation and then export them. You define key mode signature, lines and other stuff, then you add notes, added a simple script that import these MAVE files and save them as SVG. So now we have a lot of SVGs that are waiting to be converted into PNGs. Kaira SVG comes to help. Again simple script to run over those multiple SVG files and done and dusted. Now it's time to work on graphics for the program. Copy over the keys to make them as many octaves as you need. There are three different white keys that will be used for colored green and red keys. And only one black to take care of the rest. So that's all we need for UI. Okay. All the required preparation completed, now it's time to start the actual coding. First, let's create a music theory class 
that will describe and define scales, chords and modes. Then we will define a question item based on a user configuration. And that should include all available information we have, like scale, note, audio files, image file that represent the given item in musical notation and everything related to it. Next, let's create a class that will take care of all the UI related stuff. Here we will use canvas, widgets and images of scales, quartz, modes and each preset key. Based on a question item, we should use red or green color. And finally, let's put it all together in the main file. Here we will read the MIDI input and use timers to display some help information for the user. This is the place for business logic, the place we control the application workflow. I really hope you enjoyed the video and got some ideas on how to use the libraries. If you like the video and want to see more, please do not hesitate to leave your comments and questions. Also, please don't forget to subscribe. I will put a link to the GitHub repository for the project down below and hope to see you soon. Bye bye.